Hi, I'm Pat McGrew, and welcome back to Print Sample TV. I have a really cool sample to show you, and it's not paper. See? It's not paper, but it is printed. And this is from our friends at Rico. This was printed on their uh, T7210. They showed this at um, the, the sign expo, uh, the, the last sign expo in New Orleans, and they showed it at other shows uh, since then. It is a really cool sample because it shows that digital printing is changing. It's gone beyond the need to print on a paper to the ability to print on a wide variety of substance. What blew me away on this one is that this is the one they let me take away but they also printed on a cinder block. In fact, it's a cinder block that they ran out that morning and bought at Home Depot, brought it back in, set it up in front of the print device and printed the cinder block. So imagine the opportunities that that opens up. Now, from a print sample perspective, they couldn't have done better. So they brought this, which is on you know some basic plywood. They did this, this is on a, a nice coaster, which we thought, you know, this is, very nicely printed, great color. And then of course they printed my uh, keychain, which I, I definitely appreciated. I keep this on my, my purse, but look at the color, right? Look at the color, it's really, really done very nicely. And on these really unusual substrates. So, you know, it used to be that you had to um, do go through a lot of machinations in order to, to create these kinds of, of, of pieces. And, and now with digital printing, the opportunity is so much broader than it used to be. So now from a print sample perspective, what I want you to think about is um, what are you doing in your print shop that's different and unusual? What can you print on that maybe the guy down the road can't print on? And certainly if you're a customer of Rico's and you have a T7210, have a chat with them about what it takes to do something like this. All of these print samples open up conversations. So it's not just a question of having a really cool sample, although we're gonna look at a lot of samples over the course of print sample TV. It's also a question of making sure that your sales team knows how to talk about a sample like this and knows how to pitch an opportunity like this. So if you work in digital printing, heck, if you work in litho printing, and you're a little bit challenged in trying to figure out why print sales aren't coming as rapidly as you think they should, it might be your print samples. So uh, hang out with me, keep on coming back to Print Sample TV. I'll show you the best I can find. And uh, if you've got a cool print sample, send it on over. I'm the easiest person to find. Heck, tweet me at Pat McGrew. Find me on LinkedIn. I'm happy to respond and I will take any print sample you have. Again, I'm Pat McGrew. This is Print Sample TV.